we've identified a couple of issues when using our newest fiber marking laser. It'll burn your face right off. And have implemented a solution that we thought was worth sharing. We use light burn software with our fiber laser and there's one particular quirk that really bothers me. There doesn't seem to be a way to play an audible sound when your job is finished. After reading comments posted online, I understand that this is a safety issue to keep you from just walking away and leaving your job unattended. However, playing a sound when a job finishes is a normal feature in software included with higher end lasers, so I think this is pretty stupid. We run multiple lasers with many jobs running back to back. You need to know the second they finish so we can swap out jigs. Without the sound, you could be sitting right next to the laser doing other stuff, and with all the exhausts and compressors running in the background, you have no idea when it's finished until you visually check the job. So this is issue number one. We recently added an enclosure to our fiber laser, and I felt that the view of the laser's workspace was now a little limited. If you're trying to line up your art to the piece to be engraved, you can't look at it from all angles. It's impossible to get your head around the back side of the workspace. So this was issue number two. So the solution was to add a webcam. I figured this could not only increase my all-around view of the laser's workspace, but we could also use it to keep an eye on the job from a distance. It won't replace a loud sound announcing a finished job, but should still be an improvement. I purchased this webcam on Amazon. I'm sure there are much better webcams out there, but this one met my three main requirements. It had a wide angle lens, manual focus, and was extremely cheap. We'll put the link in the description below if you want to get more information on it. I wanted the option to be able to move the camera around to different areas of the enclosure and also didn't want to make the installation permanent. So Velcro to the rescue or whatever non-Velcro trademarked hook and loop tape this is. This one is pretty awesome. I've used it in automotive applications as the adhesive is super strong. Again, we'll have a link in the description below if you're interested in it. There were a number of places I could have put the camera, but I decided to start with it on the side of the enclosure. I found it's easiest to keep the Velcro together and just stick the entire thing where you want it. That way the two sides of the Velcro stay perfectly lined up with each other. Uh, duh. duh. There was a little space around the laser head where it entered the enclosure, so that's where I ran the camera's USB cord. Alternatively, there was enough of a gap under the door if I wanted to go out that way, but I would have needed a USB extension cord. There was enough of a gap between the acrylic walls and the aluminum frame to snugly tuck in the USB cable. If this wasn't an option, then tape would have worked too. This way though, I can easily remove it and reposition the camera if I want. After plugging in the camera's USB cord to the computer, I opened Windows built-in camera app. I put a quarter on one of our jigs to give me something to focus on. I then manually focused the lens. I wanted a manual focus lens because I didn't want to risk the thing going in and out of focus depending on what was happening during engraving. This way, once I have it locked in, I shouldn't have to touch it again unless I reposition the camera. Time to test it. I loaded a job in Lightburn, started the camera app, and then inserted some metal buttons into the laser. Then I started the job.
You can see right away that the brightness from the laser creates too much contrast for the camera to handle, so you can't get a good view of the actual engraving. But that's okay. This was never about seeing the engraving happen. I can look through the viewing window to see that. It was more about having that other view and positioning a job, and about seeing that the laser was still running the job. I can maximize this camera view on the monitor and clearly see the job from the other side of a large room. So I'd call this a small success. I know the larger manufacturers like Trotec and Epilog are adding this technology to their CO2 lasers so you can see inside the laser from their engraving software. So I can possibly see other applications for a setup like this in our other lasers too. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to get notified of future projects. We have more videos coming soon. Stay tuned.